Cam Earlham. Hey, yo, I'm Fox Ben Chillin', Burger Patty Grillin', Fox Ben Chillin', Burger Patty Grillin'. Walk to the barbecue. Testing one two three. Testing test. Is it? Is it Thursday again? Oh my gosh! It's Thursday. Or is again. it Wednesday? It's, I I lose track of the days. Uh, I think it's Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Think you know what Thursday. that means? It's time for the barbecue. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. That's the B. We just sound bored, you. Hey, y'all, today's episode is special. You want to know why? Why is that? Because we have we have my girl. Erin Davis on the show. You want to introduce yourself? Oh my Aaron? God, hello. <laughs> I am. That's me in the flesh. Oh my God. Erin Davis. Hey, oh my God. E-Money. Hey. E-Breezy. What Is that your DJ name? Me? E-Money. E-Money? Yeah. DJ E-Money? Okay. Okay, I Thanks. like it. I'm out here. DJ E-Money. It's my brand. It's your brand. So what are we talking about today? Today we're going to talk about Mixed-ish. Ooh. Mixed-ish. Yeah. The hot new show out. <laughs> that I'm, I'm excited. We're going to talk about a little... Fire that's going to be performing at the Super Bowl. Fire. Wait, wait, you think they're fire? They're fire. It's a, like a Latina fire. The yeah. flare. Yeah. Right. They're, they're going to kill it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then? <laughs> and some, some new music. New music. That's going to come out. New so, yeah. we're excited about. So, what do you? What, are, what albums are you excited? Well, who, who's your favorite artist to start out? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. I don't know. You don't know? I like some, like, Georgia Smith, um, Kanye West, Beyonce. The, the basics. Ah, uh, yeah. The, no. like, basic artists, you know. How about you? How about you, DJ Kareem? Man, I like all underground artists. You will not know who I like. I like Saba. Saba actually He's going to say Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. You know, Tigger. <laughs> 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 the whole gang, you know. <laughs> now, that's pretty much it, really. But all right, y'all. We have a nice little show queued up for you guys, as you can tell. So we're going to get into our first music break. Keep it here. Anyway, so, Erin, yes. tell me about yourself. About myself? Yes. Well, as you can tell from the Beyonce intro right there, I'm from Texas. Um, <laughs> Texas is a lifestyle. It's not, like, anything. Um, it's a lifestyle? It's a lifestyle it's, it's being a, Texan. Break that down for Like, because mm-hmm. everything's bigger in Texan. So, Texas. So it's like, bigger in Texan? So, like, as a Texan, you have to have a big personality. You have to have a big smile, big hair, big cowboy boots. I don't own cowboy boots. I'm pretty sure. You, I feel like I've seen you in them. I've ne- never. I, yeah, nope. I, yeah, I, yeah, I see. Do you own a oh. horse? <laughs> I... <laughs> I Several. Horse. I've seen her like <laughs> ride to class on a horse. <laughs> right. Like, no yeah, cap. that's me actually. That rides it. on it. the crod that's with you? my horse. That yeah. is me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In my little cowboy little boots, nice. and I'm actually best friends with the little Mason kid, the Yodel oh. boy. Yeah. Are you oh. We're like BFFs. Walmart, Walmart kid. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. My god. That's Man. what it's like living in Texas. <laughs> that's why Illinois though, right? That's why it's a personality trait. But besides that, like, you know, the use, convergence journalism, shout out. Um, shout out Mark. Yeah. Shout Mark, out Alicia. Alicia. Y'all not listening. Shout out Kat. Kat. I haven't met Major yet, but I heard he's a cool guy. He's so cool. He's literally so cool. Um, he showed us a story he did once where he, like, talked about, like, porta potties in the mountains. I don't know. It was really that's cool. That's such an odd combination. Yeah, but only in Colorado, I guess. Like, oh, that's I've never been there. Well, actually, I've been in Colorado, but porta potties and mountains. Yeah. Wow. That was his life. And you said you said Janelle's listening, right? Yeah. Shout out Janelle. Janelle. <laughs> Nelly Nell. Shout out. That Wait. song was for you. <laughs> yes, Walk <Walker, laughs> Texas Ranger. But yes, if you guys have any um, song suggestions, you can you know DM us on uh, Twitter. Mm-hmm. At barbecue on KCOU, or you can DM us on um, <coughs> Instagram <laughs> at the underscore barbecue. We are open to most song suggestions. Most, <laughs> most. most. Why most? It? Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> if it's a clean version, we'll play it. If it's not, then you know, stop mm-hmm. the side. Skirt. Can Skirt. we say like any genre, like Smash Mouth by All Star? Yeah? Yes. Oh, wait, that's reverse, but you get what I'm saying. Yes. that That's acceptable. Some panic at the disco. <laughs> Am I Ooh, changing up your show's disco, vibe? Yeah. Sydney's like, wait, get out. <laughs> no, I appreciate all genres of music, honestly. But, um, yeah. So if you want to hear some Smash Mouth, we'll play it for you. Yeah. I some, requ- I'm requesting Smash Mouth right now. Paramore. Paramore? There we go. It's a clean version, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song from Shrek. Uh, <laughs> girl. <laughs> I'm you know, sick. Did you not realize that? Hey, no. Uh, you're rock all star. Um, no. Song, I'll play. Uh, I'll play Baby uh, Shark. Oh, let's Baby no. Shark. I think that would like turn everyone would turn the radio off. I think they'd all turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they have like small children around. But all right, let's go ahead and know our first topic for the day. So I texted you earlier, and I was like, hey, we're talking about mixed dish today. And your initial reaction was to... I literally went home and watched the show. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> and I texted her like 5.15, and the show started at 6. I was working on, like, convergent stuff, and I was like, Avery, I got to go. I have to go watch <laughs> this show so I don't show up and not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But I mean, it was good. It was nice. It was like a mental health break, real fast. Um, it was a. It's just like Blackish. Really? Yeah. Like it starts off with the Blackish cast. Like they're watching TV. The dad and Junior like fighting. Junior. They're like, yeah. oh, like you're gonna get it. Blah blah blah. And then Bo like does this weird flashback. Spoiler to, like, alert! By the way, oh, yeah. spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, like, spoiler it. alert. Well, it's okay. just the Go opening ahead. scene. I, yeah. Whoop. I mean, I haven't seen it. That's why I'm just oh. like. <laughs> you made him sad. Yeah, well. So, you, know, I, you know, I'm enjoying it. I'm like really paying attention. <laughs> I'm going to watch this when I get well. <laughs> <laughs> Then it does a nice little flashback into her life. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess like from the previews, like she lived on a commune. It kind of insinuates the fact that she was like on the Jonesburg commune. If y'all know what that is. Jonestown, I think it's called. Yeah. Which was like this crazy cult like back in the day. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Basically kind of saying she came from that. Mm -hmm. it, but I know they always like make fun of her, like her like upbringing. Yeah. And, like blackish. Yeah. Cause Not she, just the fact that, you know, she's mixed, but the fact that her parents live such a like a different life, I guess. Yeah. They literally were like chose to go live on a commune, which like kind of makes sense because they're an interracial couple so they're mm -hmm. like we didn't know race on the commune like wow. it just wasn't a thing and so that kind of like sets up her struggles for when they're in the real world and like people are hateful and it really sucks but it is really interesting because like I feel like it showed a lot of the struggles that mixed people deal with that like mm -hmm. sometimes people don't think about so it's really interesting yeah well yeah I, I don't know <coughs> what do you think DJ Kareem about, you watch Blackish? I watch, yeah, I watch Blackish. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it recently. Yeah, oh, Blackish. Really? Blackish is my show. I don't want to say it is my show, but like I watch it every time before I go to sleep. Oh, so, like George you know. Lopez. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know how you just wake up in the middle of the night? It's just, <laughs> dun, 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 and just oh, bro. A miniature. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely the same type of like weird humor. Okay. As blackish, as gr like they're all the same type right, of weird right. humor, but right. it's like you watch it like for the cause. Those are the best shows. I don't care. I like those type of shows. The weird humor. Yeah, the weird humor. Because I mean, if you can't tell, I'm I have weird humor, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Yeah. I have weird humor. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> guys, come on. I'm not like the other ones. <laughs> I'm unique. <laughs> but yeah, definitely like. I don't know. I, I feel like the only reason I'm going to keep watching it is for the cause because, like, it's just a it's just a weird show. They, they're joking about, like, doing cocaine and stuff. Ooh. It was weird. I would say definitely watch it, though, on Hulu. You know, we're students. You get that $5. Merch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you use Spotify and Hulu. Oh, I, all I'm, I'm an Apple Music girl. Oh, my God. Oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're superior? <laughs> I mean, my music integrated in my phone, so I can be like, hey, Siri, Play this. Try doing that with Spotify. Oh. I mean, but shout out to my mom for like funding my Apple Music and Spotify. You well, have I mean, both. I fund oh, my hey. Spotify, but shout out to Mommy Ty for funding my <laughs> Apple Music because I have both. <laughs> so you know what? I barely use it though. It's like a family thing. Man, but what's you know, the difference, guys? Come on. Everything. I mean, Spotify is a little bit better. That's the difference. And how is that? We're going to have to cut the show short today. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they like, cultivate playlists based off of what you watch like uh -huh. or listen to. I, I like that. I think Apple Music does the same thing. Apple Music does that. But it's harder to find. Mm. As someone who, like, doesn't actively make their own playlists, it's nice to just, like, See, I'm click. one of those that makes playlists. I have a ton. I have at least, like, 20, 30 playlists, I think. Oh. Well, then that's why you like Apple Music. Oh. Yeah. There you go. You shake hands now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Take my hand. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, oh we can pretend we did. No one can see <laughs> what's going on. Guys, we just shook hands. It's great. <laughs> I saw a camera that, you know. <laughs> you know. We didn't shake hands, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. But so, I guess jumping from mixed ish to black ish, what do you guys think of grown ish? Yikes. Oh, ooh, I feel yikes. like you grow up with it. I feel like the more you watch it, you just grow up with it. It just seems like, you know, you're in the class with them. It's pretty. That's exactly how I feel. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> nah, it's nice. I relate to all of her struggles. <laughs> no, literally. I do not. It's, it's so hard it's being. Super, a, know. You know what I mean? It's just relatable. I don't know. She. Here's my issue with Grownish. There was one point where it felt like from one episode to another, like six months had passed. And it's like all this stuff had happened. But no. Like. Give me a, t- a an accurate timeline of what college mm-hmm. life is like. Yeah, I feel like they tried to start off doing that. They they tried. They really tried. <laughs> the first two episodes were good, then after that it's kind of like yeah. she's talking to who since when? <laughs> yeah, kind of mad that spoiler alert she chose Luca oh. way back when. Did you have you been watching it recently? Yeah, girl. Spoiler alert. Uh, you know. No. Yes. Yeah, you I know. was happy because Luca is so bad for he her. Is like bad. he became. What? 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 Really? Yes. I, okay, Did you watch okay, recent okay. episodes? No. Oh, I guess not. No. I guess not. Yeah. But I like Luca because he's an Aquarius on the show, right? Oh, you know? Okay, gosh. see, but I'm an Aquarius, but like, I just can't see eye to eye with him. How? I don't understand how. He just becomes like, because I guess that's part of character development. He starts out very chill. Mm-hmm. Like, initially I was, I was like, wait, yeah, she should definitely choose Aaron. Then she chose Luca and I was like, you know, okay, this could be cool. Then they started having these issues that normal couples don't have. Mm-hmm. And I was, you know, whose fault is this? Maybe it's hers. But then, you know, you kind of find out it's, it's kind of his fault. It's kinda, yeah. It's kind of fault. But he was, like, making it out to Seems be about her right. fault. Yeah. Seems no, he right. he blamed her for a lot of things that weren't her fault. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she got opportunities and he became, you know, upset about it. I remember that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it just, it was, became like a very toxic thing. I think that's what they're trying to portray it as. They yeah. did a good job of doing that without, you know, outwardly being like, oh, he's a toxic person. It's <laughs> yeah. like, you know, red flags. And then. Okay, I would like to take back my vote then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think also, like, they were the same major. So that's like, yeah. got to cause some stress. Like, you should have some differences. I mean, not saying to, like, not date someone in your major, but that was a definite, like, red flag for their relationship. Like, yeah. he was, like, I guess better at what they did. Initially. I mean, she, yeah, yeah, initially. And then she, like, found her own strengths. Like, she, she's killing it. Yeah. But, like... He just couldn't support her. That yeah. was the biggest right. thing. Yeah. The show as a whole, though, like, again, I only watch it for the cause. Because, <laughs> like, she was addicted to Adderall after, like, the third episode yes i was like girl and then it'll pop, it'll pop up randomly i'm like oh, oh so she she still likes it or it should it go away literally they like a therapist like what they didn't talk about it afterwards like it was weird yeah <laughs> they just i think they're just gonna make shows for all the characters eventually like they're gonna i want to see junior more when he was on grownish i was like okay see yeah i like that mm-hmm. on i liked him on grownish but yes. like have you seen the new episode of blackish that just came out i have not he's a mess Really? No, not like crazy, but like just oh, struggling to find his way night. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you watched it last night? Yeah, I fell asleep on it though, but you know. <sighs> yeah. I watched it. <laughs> it's it's a whole thing. Again, just really? the culture. Because like, y'all know, they do have some like episodes where they talk about like meaningful things. Right. Oh yeah, no, for yeah. sure. That's what yeah. I like about the show so much is that it kind of presents topics that we don't talk about mm-hmm. in the black community in a, in a very... I don't know. I just like the way they do it. Yeah. Very relatable way. Except for those two episodes where they're like musicals. I didn't like those. Y'all remember those? It was like they Weren't did. they like slaves or something? Like <laughs> yes. They did something about slavery mm-hmm. and then another one about Prince. And they were uh, all like I Prince characters. <laughs> like, I remember that. That episode was funny. I'm like, Andre Johnson does not need to be wearing this outfit. This is <laughs> crazy. crazy. It was so funny. But, but all right. We're going to get back into another music break. We're going to come back with some more heavy topics. Stay tuned. (laughs) 
Mm-mm-mm. We love a good Jersey track, don't we? Oh, yeah. Especially at the barbecue. Because I... <laughs> Grilling up something sweet. Grilling up something. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's been a long day. But, um... <laughs> All right. So, we were chatting earlier, very briefly, but, um... So the Super Bowl performers, they dropped earlier today. Mm-hmm. You guys, remember who it was? Slipping my mind right now. Spoiler alert. It's um, <laughs> J-Lo and Shakira. Yeah, hey. Shakira, Shakira. I'm on tonight. On How do you feel? Um, it was unexpected, plus because I like forgot about both of them. What do you yeah. mean my freak? Well, no. What? I, not J-Lo, because oh, my, oh. my mom and my aunt... Ken vouched for me on this. Yeah. She had this one song, um, Love Don't Cost a Thing. Oh <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes. about? Yes. <laughs> They're probably going to text me right now. I used to be obsessed with that song, and I used to put a towel around my head and like pretend I had long hair, and I used to like flip my head around Girl. and dance on my head. <laughs> And I was like five at this point. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, no, I love, I might on repeat. That's the first song I had on repeat ever. <laughs> that song. Oh my god. Besides whatever Barney was out at that point, it was <laughs> J-Lo Love Don't Cost a Thing. Cause I, that was my song. I was, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting so excited about this. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, you <laughs> forgot about them. Yeah. Just forgot about them. <laughs> Dang, they I just became irrelevant. Especially Shakira. Like, where has she been? La- I don't, girl, the last song I know from Shakira is Waka Waka when she did the Super Bowl uh, song. Waka Waka. That was my song, girl. Uh-huh. And, like, I don't know when that came out, but at that time, that was the song. That was like, two th- what was it? Yeah, yes, yeah. For the FIFA game, yes. That was the song. DJ Kareem. All I know is uh, Hips Hips Don't Lie <laughs> from Shakira. Oh, yeah. That's the only and thing. And she I will. Know. Hips don't lie. Sign to fill your boy. Oh, you know, do, do both of them have a song with Pitbull? I wouldn't be surprised. Most likely. Yeah. Oh, yes. my like gosh. A, you think they can bring out, like, special guests? Yes. Please don't bring out Pitbull. If Pit they bring out Pitbull, <laughs> the out. World, world peace will just happen. Like, I have friends who are obsessed with Pitbull. Their brains would explode. Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Worldwide is their idol. Mr. Worldwide. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no, Pitbull... <laughs> He's cool. You know, he's... Just cool? Pitbull will get the whole party started. What Literally. Do you mean? When I think of Pitbull, I think of Akon instantly. I don't know why. Why? <laughs> they do not relate at all. I think of, like, that early, like, 2000. Yeah. yeah, that. You know, those yeah. artists. And yeah. they were, you know, they were popular <laughs> back then. Akon, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> Nobody want to see you with the Bro, that song I used to slap back in the oh, day. Me. Oh, me. Nah. But yeah, so what do you guys, how do you guys think that this year's performers compare to, you know, past years? Who was I, last year? Uh, Beyonce? I don't, she was, a, I was in high school and she was, I that was like senior was year, year, I think. So that was 2016. They, I feel like they really have to bring it because mm. they have to like. To do, should I do Katy Perry? Man. Oh, okay, I can't bro. stand Katy Perry. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Bro, Justin Timberlake, he had Ooh, an he amazing halftime year. performance. Uh, you think he was amazing? I mean, it was a lot into it. Like, you mm. know, he started like somewhere in a, in his own little concert underneath the ground. And then he comes out to and performs the actual and then we all know that one time with him and uh, Janet Jackson yeah. when he uh, did the little slip. But, you know, other than that, you know, they have amazing Super Bowl halftime shows. Michael Jackson? Michael bro, Jackson. Say- I mean. That's all I, gotta, that's all I have to say. Michael Jackson. <laughs> top that. Try to top that, Shakira. Ooh. Oh, oh. That's, that's like a challenge. on her plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I feel like because... The last Super Bowl performer that I feel like really like brought it mm-hmm. was definitely Beyonce. Beyonce, because yeah. you know she brought mm-hmm. Kelly Rowland, Michelle Williams. I don't know her last name. Let's call her Michelle. Um, <laughs> Let's call her Michelle. Okay, Michelle, shout out. <laughs> shout Michelle, out, Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> Come to our show. <laughs> <Come But>. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, oh, 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 I don't lady. think I saw her live, her performance. Was that? It was good. Did y'all see it? Who? 
Lady Gaga. <laughs> you said oh. whole lady. She came from the ceiling. Remember, wasn't that her Super Bowl performance? She like came from the ceiling, was like falling down. I remember because wow. I was in high school. I can't remember what year, but all my friends are like in theater. So like you can just imagine a room full of theater kids watching Lady Gaga perform. Like it was hype. Oh it was goodness. a hype performance. I don't think I've watched. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, Lady Gaga was hype. Do you guys remember like Bruno Mars for halftime show at all? No, I don't think I. Mm-hmm. I see. I only watch. I only watch Beyonce's because uh-huh. my friend invited me over specifically to watch Beyonce. It's not even the game. Man, um. <laughs> Man Bruno, he he went crazy too. I don't exactly remember. Did she, didn't he bring, <laughs> didn't he bring her out or something like that? Huh? Didn't he bring her or something? They were together. It was Coldplay. 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 And Bruno Mars invited. Was. Be- That's what it was. Yeah. So he's like, "Oh, y'all want me to come? I gotta bring my girl with me. Hold on." Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he imagine being like, "Let me bring my friend out," and it's Beyonce. Imagine being friends with Beyonce. Imagine. <laughs> imagine being friends with Beyonce. Wow. Sh- Beyonce, come to our show. You probably Please. are not listening, you, but well, I'll make you a plate <laughs> if you if you need food for real, for real. I got you. Yeah, no, we're actually cooking in here. Yes. You hear that? Oh, I get it. Is that we're a at a barbecue. We are at a barbecue. Is that Ooh, a burger what do we have on the, oh, the grill? Does she even eat burgers? <laughs> That's crazy. People in the Midwest think uh, burgers are barbecue. Was that it a. Did, yeah, I feel <laughs> like that was a. Y'all, barbecue is have, like. We have interns in there. Uh, they're, they're, they're laughing. <laughs> I believe, like. <laughs> I feel attacked. What do you? What do you mean? Is oh wait, shout out, to, shout out to my shadows real quick. Yeah. We got Molly and we got. Uh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so Whoa. Sorry. Hold on. We're all about professionalism at the I barbecue. I said your name early and Gracie. Um, I am so sorry. I'm so. That is. <laughs> shout wow. out, shout out Molly and Gracie. You guys hey. are amazing. I am so sorry. Welcome to the barbecue. Day. Welcome to the barbecue. Welcome to the barbecue. Come on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yikes. But yeah, barbecue is like pulled pork, some ribs, some links. That yeah. in addition, barbecue sauce. Yeah, yeah, no, burgers. but burgers too. What do, what do you guys think? Burgers are they barbecue? Burgers are barbecue. That's Let me barbecue put this in perspective. Burgers. Like my family had this barbecue contest this summer. <laughs> no one cooked a hamburger or a hot dog. They if just, anything, they were bratwurst. They but forgot. Like, that's that's pretty much. Are wings barbecue? Oh, I mean... That's a good one. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> sometimes. ooh. So, yeah, Where sometimes. were you guys from, first of all? Oh, so, yeah. Midwest, like... Midwest. Like us, yes. Like everyone in this room. Yeah. Are you from the Midwest? <laughs> hey, Bub. Oh, girl, where are you from? Is that the South? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Wait. God. That was a serious question. I never no, thought of North Carolina. I didn't realize North Carolinians had that identity. Is that the South? <laughs> wow. Talk about cool. that identity. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, it has North in the name. How can it be the South? And I said, I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess if you draw a line. But then some people well, think the Missouri is the, the South. Second yeah. Mm. Oof. Yeah. No, because I consider Missouri the South, low key. I know it's not really, but when I first got here, I was like, I'm in the South, I'm in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here in the, the wilderness. Country. In the Ugh. wilderness. Never. No, we're not, yo. I mean, two thirds of Missouri is farmland, so it kind of is not Same the wilderness. Same thing with Illinois, low key. So yeah. is Illinois the South? It's not. Open roads. But if we're judging it based off of. You know, land demographics. I think Illinois is pretty, oh <laughs> pretty rural. Yeah. But Chicago, so where in Chicago are you from? <laughs> All right, come on, mom. <laughs> do we have to? <laughs> where in Dallas are you from? <laughs> the Sco, Frisco, gang, gang. South Holland, gang, gang. Oh my god, I, I want someone to listen to this show. And if you guys are actually listening to bro, this, bro, Chicago. <laughs> okay, look at the map of Chicago. And search south. You know, I'm not even gonna put her out there because I'm nowhere near. So I'm not even. Gonna south Holland is very close. It's close. So it's ten minutes from the south side. It has side. its city, oh. uh, you know, things. But nah, bro, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty. You, you ain't been. You ain't been to my neighborhood. I've, I have been to you your neighborhood. Been to my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you, you know, you know the streets ain't safe out there. Yeah. Wait, where in Chicago are you from? <laughs> he is from. I'm from around. I'm just everywhere. You know he what I mean. He I'm, lives. For, he's from west. further into the suburbs than I am. I'm I, ten minutes from the south side. He's at least half an hour. 
Probably, oh. yes. But I move around a lot. So technically. I move around a lot. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my aunt. She lives in Chicago. I claim okay. her address. She won't let me, but I still claim it. Okay. We'll believe that's <laughs> legitimate. <laughs> She's going to text me like, you're not from the city. Yeah. Stay in the suburbs. <laughs> Stay in the suburbs. But and yes. So. Who are we talking about? We're talking about the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. So... Justin, I want to talk about Justin, Timber, Justin Timberlake's performance for a second. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people didn't like it. I got that vibe, you know, on Twitter last year at least. Okay. Personally, as a, a two early two thousands JT Stan. Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> oh no. Makes sense. Sweetheart, there's a video of me somewhere dancing to my love, like jumping on my bed. How, That's scary. How That's old like, were you? <laughs> <laughs> no I'm Future pretty- Future um, Sex Love Sound yeah, Interesting like that. that album You heard the album? Probably You gotta go back And listen to the whole thing I'm not like a big A diehard <laughs> It's the album Where he's like put. He's like stomping On a disco ball Okay yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, what I'm talking about. Thank you, you know who Thank loves you. Justin I, Timberlake? Me, Janelle. <gasps> I'm Janelle. Right. It's Janelle. Janelle. Janelle Die Hard. <laughs> Justin Timberlake you talk went about to his this. country concert. Really? Justin oh, okay, Timberlake. No, I don't, okay, I'm not Die really? Hard. Really? Where is he from? Memphis. Oh, oh I know that off the top of my head. <laughs> you're from, a really you're a fan fan. No, because he's always like, um, from Memphis. Show him some southern love. I'll play a song. Oh, oh, I'm gonna play just some like song uh, and some like Shakira and J Lo. Mm. I was reading the tweets about this performance though, and people are like, "Imagine the conservatives when they hear them singing <laughs> Spanish on their TV." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god!" Like, turn that off. Man, <sighs> I wonder what they're gonna bring really because they're seasoned as far as with performing and everything like that. That's true. But They've like, been around for a minute. bringing something, bringing some type of. Something that everybody's gonna remember. Like, what? I think they, they can. Huh? I think they can. You think they can? Yeah, especially okay. if they when they when they bring out Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah Mr. Yeah. Worldwide. It's gonna happen. It's gonna like, happen. Yeah. I feel like Shakira's gonna bring out Beyonce because they have that one song together. That one, yeah. Beautiful liar. Bro, I have I not heard this. that song uh, in so long. I just Beyonce, just came to Beyonce, Beyonce, <laughs> Shakira, Shakira, Shakira. Yeah. Hey. Wow. I don't know. What oh are talking my about? god. That's I'm not crazy. a very hip person. I, yeah, we, we I'm know. starting to yeah. catch on to I'm that. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to catch on. He's You're like, s- she's she from the, the south. That's why. You listen to like UGK. Who? He's from Texas. Come on now, UGK. You know who's from Texas? Travis Nick Scott. Nick Jonas. Oh, Nick Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Is he really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just him. Just, Just him. Nick. <laughs> That's yeah. my Texas shout out. Okay. And okay. Beyonce and Travis Scott now. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. Oh, Imagine Travis Scott in the Super Bowl. That Bro, that wild. would be what? Didn't my fits everywhere? It did happen. Yeah, oh, it did happen. Did they, like, the yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, <gasps> he did. Yes. yes. It was because <laughs> last year was um, Maroon Five. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, he did sicko mode. Yeah, oh, well, that was so lit. Dang. That was lit. I didn't even know that was beautiful. Was yeah, they they did it for like a split second. The little SpongeBob Super Bowl thing. I'm weak. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> bro, really? Like, we had got Michael Jackson. We're gonna have SpongeBob. True. Wow. Twitter culture taking over. Really. <laughs> right, where's, where's the SpongeBob hologram? Come on now. Pretty so, cool. general consensus on, you know, this performance. What do you think about it? Yes, no, maybe. I think yes. I'm iffy. I think I'm iffy. I'm iffy. I don't know. I feel like they have to bring out Mr. Worldwide for it to be a yes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. them two. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah. Everybody go crazy know. with Pitbull. He doesn't even like make any recent songs. He just performs the same songs, but like, they're like. Hits. I don't even. Know. Yeah. I can't even name a Pitbull song. He did a remix of Africa by Toto for Aquaman. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aquaman was a bad. Oh, we need the, to talk. Have you seen Aquaman? The movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. 
Yeah. Wow. You like you liked it or it was just kinda weird. It was long. You seen Aquaman? It wasn't long. It was just weird. <sighs> that was a long <laughs> it was like almost three hours long and I can't like it Aquaman? wasn't. Maybe we saw a different version. <laughs> <laughs> it was over two hours and like I swear, I think it was like the last forty five minutes is when things actually like important things happened. Yeah. I just thought it, it was just a movie. <clears throat> you see, you know, you like you watch things just like so you can kind of say like, oh, I've seen that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe that was one of those. <laughs> that was one of those. One of those. Because I def don't remember it being that long. Have you guys ever like fell asleep at a movie theater? Oh, plenty of plenty times. Plenty of times. Plenty How of times. Do you? How? That's crazy. I think it was last semester because um, I had seen what is that movie mm-hmm. where they went to the. The little thing. Yeah, that one movie. That, when they went into the little thing. The Toy Story? <laughs> the little thing. No, when they went into the escape room. Narnia. Escape room. Escape, escape room. You saw the movie oh. Escape Room? I saw it over winter break and then it came back here. My friends were like, let's go see it. Oh my God. And I was like, I've already seen it. And then they were like, well, come with us anyway. And I was like, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to fall asleep. I've already seen the movie. So, like, there's. And of course, I fell asleep. And then we went to a different. Um, theater after paying to see this other movie yeah um <laughs> nice 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 way to put it <laughs> and um i fell asleep during that movie too the one with kevin hart and um he was a caregiver or whatever uh, i know yeah, what you're talking about i, I fell talking about. asleep during that movie as well so i fell asleep during a double feature that's wow. tough yeah <laughs> a double feature that's like what my parents do fall asleep in the movies mm. yeah i don't like it when that happens i usually like go with a Squad of friends. And if anybody falls asleep, it's a waste. Cause I usually be the one that's paying. I'm like, man, you could have, could have stayed home. Oh well, wow. you trying to go to the movies? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Let's do it. <laughs> that's so funny. Wait. I don't think I've ever fallen asleep in a movie. Really? I get invested. I mean, it depends. Like, um, I'm trying to think. Like, if I if it's one, like I saw Wonder Woman. I think like two or three times. Did not fall asleep. Um, I saw Avengers, the first part of the last part. I saw that three times. Did not fall asleep once. Oh, my. Yeah, no, I'm crazy when it comes to Marvel movies. I, you like to watch movies over and over again. Mm-hmm. I, I like to, you know, when you see it, when you see it more than one time. I feel like people should. I mean, they do yeah. so much for a movie. You wouldn't even believe. Like, it's so much that they put into, like, film productions. Exactly. If you don't watch it more than once, I will be offended. Literally. Like, or pi- I, I get, like, movie pirating, how that people get, like, mad about that. Cause, oh, my like, God. People spend, like, two, three years making a movie, and someone just, like, instantly downloads. In a day. Yeah, and don't pay for it. Oh. So I bet y'all hate people who, like, sneak into movie theaters. Mm. Yeah, we Not hate them. I, do you <laughs> do that, Aaron? <laughs> 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 Movies are really expensive. <laughs> I think it's unfair. That's the answer. That's the answer yeah. right there. But no, I don't like to watch movies more than once. So I apologize to the movie makers. We forgive but, you. I'm joking. Unless it's like on Netflix and it's mm. like a Disney classic. Like Coco. But there you go. That's still... They do take time with Disney movies too. Yeah. Just as much. Animators. Oh my God. Oof. Man. <clears throat> but all right. We're going to get into our next music break. So thank y'all for tuning in. Keep it here. Choose one. All right, y'all. That's... What time is it? It's, it's 7, 39, 44, 46, 47, 48, 49. 49. <laughs> yeah, no time. <laughs> First of all, I'm not going to say this out loud. Um, time is interesting. You know, it's a very interesting concept. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's all Continue. I'm going to say. Oh. I'll, I'll tell you guys after. But, um, actually, hold on. Okay. All right. But, um, <laughs> ethic. <laughs> but, um, okay. So, real quick, we're running out of time. Go around and, you know, name an artist that you want to drop some music soon. You, you want to start? You want me to start? You can start. Okay. I'll I'm going to meditate on this one. <laughs> So, Summer Walker is actually dropping an album October 4th, Save the Date, because it's going to be the only thing I'm listening to for the next 36 hours after October 4th. 
DJ Kareem. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> well, who who are you looking forward to um, as far as music? Okay, well, I mean, even though it's not really in October, because what's today's date? Oh, not the time doesn't. Um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, in less than 24 hours, the baby is going to drop Kurt. Is he really? He's about to drop an album. No. Yeah, yep. yeah. In less than 24 hours. Yep. <laughs> yep. Look at this. Oh, yeah. No, y'all. The baby. You heard I mean, it here first. Sydney loves the baby, man. The baby. That ain't the baby. That's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're so gross. <laughs> I don't care. Oh my goodness! And then finally, <laughs> oh wow, is it E Money, E Mac, E Money, E Mac, DJ E Mac? No, What's... just call me whatever you want. I'm open to everything. Don't call me late to dinner. Am I right? Mm-hmm. I don't Cut get it in. out. <laughs> what? Cut it Have out. you heard that? Don't before? call me late to dinner. You know yeah, it's like... like call you can call me anything except late to dinner. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, so you know people. Like, move on, move on, move on. Okay, yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> <Moving on. laughs> okay, we'll okay. okay. Um, I have to be like unhip for a second because my true love is like the Jonas Brothers and like Justin right, right. Bieber. So like, oh, of course, the Jonas Brothers <laughs> just dropped like a fire album. They're on tour right now, mm-hmm. as um, they should be. Yeah, as so I guess be. like just waiting for Justin Bieber to see what he has next. La- no, are we? Are over, you serious? Over the yeah. summer, what him and Ed Sheeran that song? Yeah, his I that song. Ca- that song is it catchy. Is a good song. It's catchy. I was it singing is. it. Yes, I enjoy the catchy stuff. And the music video, it was weird, but it was cool. I didn't watch it. Um. <gasps> oh wait, let me be hip real fast. Childish Gambino. What? Did you drop for something? What about wow. It? What about Childish? Love. Him. Oh, you just, just in general. Right? If he <laughs> has some new music coming out soon, <sighs> oh, didn't he say he was done after? Um, wow, I believe it. Then he was done. He was done after. Oh. Well, he dropped like that retro album. Uh huh. Hold on, my aunt is FaceTiming yeah. me. Oh wow, live, live on the show. Yes. Hey. Hey, aunt. <laughs> hey, TT. Welcome to the barbecue. Answer. Yeah. Am I not supposed to? <laughs> Am I not supposed to? Oh my. Yeah, but yeah, okay, guys, my aunt is on the show right now. Hey, aunt. Hey, auntie. Welcome to the barbecue. I call her TT. These are, these are my shadows, Gracie and Molly. Yes. But all right, so I, I'm sorry to cut this short. Or do you have a comment you'd like to throw out there since we're live? All right, love you. Love you too, sweetie. Bye bye. Hi, TT. TT. TT, man. It was funny because when Sydney was like, these are my shadows, she was like, uh, Gra- Gracie and Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's like, man, she came on my show just to flame me up. That's not how it works. It's all good. But well, yeah, so right now, um, you said Childish Gambino. I wish. Donald Glover, if you're listening, somehow. Hit me Some up. Some way, by the grace of God. I know he's listening. Oh, you know he's, he's got listening. to. He he's, has to. Yeah. Everybody listens to the barbecue. Come Everybody on listens to the. One it day is. that'll be true. That is facts. Mm-hmm. That is facts. But yes. So, Quote. Donald Glover, if you're listening to the show, first of all, come to the show. Second of all, please drop some more music. Thank you. Yeah. Boom. All right. Simple as that. Anybody sure. else got any? We're just talking about our favorite artists. We like, could we, for, for a few minutes. We could just chill, you know what I'm saying? A few minutes <laughs> just talking about our favorite artists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh, Aaron. We played with Bushka Boy the other day, I remember, when I was in your car. Yeah, mm. that was one of my Spotify made playlists. <laughs> yeah, but see, it like puts the type of vibes on there that I listen to frequently. So it's like his vibe, but like, I don't know who that is. Do you guys <laughs> listen to Post Malone? Ooh, he has a actually. song with Justin Timberlake, not Justin Timberlake, Justin Bieber, Deja Vu. Yes. That yes. song. Yes. Deja Vu. Yes. Have yes. you heard it, Aaron? Probably. Okay, yeah, it's amazing. It's no, his recent his recent project was actually decent. Like I, I normally don't it. really give him the time of day because I'm like, it's I called. used to, but then he fell out. But his recent project was actually decent. Like hmm. some replayable tracks, like the intro track. Oh, I was I'll, trying to know the name, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably give it a listen then, because I have to listen to um, 
Brockhampton's album. Yeah, well. I have to finish that. <clears throat> I have to actually finish that because I gave it a listen. Didn't know when the tr- actual transitions were, but like, yeah, it was actually pretty good. It was pretty good. I actually do not like listening to music and actually knowing too much of the information because really? that's what like keeps it new to me. Okay. I feel like, like I feel like that with movies too. Like I feel yeah. like trailers that give away enough, but then you get the movie like, oh my god, I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Like with Widows, y'all seen Widows? No. No. <gasps> I did not see the trailer before I saw the movie, and it was uh-huh. one of the best movie experiences of my life it was so good and I had no idea what was gonna happen until I got there it was amazing is that a scary movie? no it's like a thriller not oh. thriller but <sighs> that is a good movie interesting it has Viola Davis in it oh you sold me <laughs> no, amazing it's, no it's great so good but unfortunately we're coming to the bottom of the hour um <laughs> it's time for us to wrap up put out this fire and a grill yeah Put away the ketchup yeah. and the buns. Put away these burgers. Uh, who's going to pick up all these seats? <laughs> Talk about these seats. <laughs> but yes, mm. if y'all well, wanted to go play. Oh, girl, I already have a bunch. Take three, I four. I'll give you some burgers to go. So on the to-go I would actually like the actual barbecue, please. Oh, burn. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Now I'll take some burgers. You know, you got the refried beans. You go take some burgers some now? Some mac and cheese. I mean, if I'm going to eat. You all for it? Okay. I'm going to eat. It's free, as she said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, it's free. So. Life of a college kid, you know. Me. But yeah. But all right. So let's plug socials real quick. Let's start with the show. The show's socials for Twitter. We are at the barbecue on KCOU. No, just sorry. At barbecue on KCOU. No, the. On Twitter, we are the underscore barbecue. Not in Twitter. Instagram. Just the barbecue. Just the underscore barbecue mm-hmm. on Instagram again. Um, YouTube is a link to the YouTube on. Oh, it's just in the link. <laughs> yeah. I'll actually, yeah. just go to the Instagram. There's a mini link to everything. To everything. Everything. Right there. Everything that you need in that link. And this show will be a part of. You know that link soon. Soon. So yes, and then DJ Emac, plug your socials real quick. Oh my socials! Wow, follow me on Twitter. Um, Aaron M A C underscore twenty four. My Instagram Aaron underscore M A C twenty four. Gotta keep it up. But if you just type Aaron Davis in Google, I should pop up. Oh, she said. <laughs> yeah. Google Ooh. me, honey. Yeah. That's what I like. That's how it is. That's what I like. It's my turn. Yes. DJ Kareem. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. All right. So follow me on Twitter at sorry Kareem because I know everybody's going to be sorry if they don't. Oh, I like right, that. I tried. Hey, I try. I okay. like that. You know like that? <laughs> and follow me on Instagram at Sir Kareem. And yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Yes. And then my. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, he got one more. You can Google me too. Oh. Kareem, oh. I do music and everything. I do Ooh. all that good stuff. Kareem, K V R E E M. Kareem, poo. <laughs> all right, and then my socials. You can find me on Instagram at Noel Walton underscore. You can find me on Twitter at Sidnerita S Y D N O R I T A. Yeah. Wow, that was great. Yeah, if you want to follow me on Tumblr too, I always plug my Tumblr. <laughs> 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 and and Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr We're not going to talk about my Tumblr. No thanks. But all right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, DM us, email us. We do have an email. Um, so, yeah. Until next week. Stay lit. The barbecue. The barbecue. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm Paul's been chilling. Burger patty grilling. Paul's been chilling. Burger patty grilling. Paul's been chilling. Burger patty grilling. Walk to the barbecue. Walk to the barbecue.